Listen. Hey everyone, this is Nick and I'd like to welcome you back to the Data Hub collection. In this video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the Streams Messaging Manager and how to use it to interact with Kafka within the CDP, or Cloudera Data Platform, ecosystem. To start off, you'll see that we spooled up three Data Hubs for this demo. One will be running Kafka, one will be for NiFi, and the last one will be running HBase to store our results. Going into the Data Hub with Kafka, you'll see one of the benefits of using the Cloudera Data Platform is the ability to set up and manage Kafka through user-friendly UIs. The Streams Messaging Manager lets you view important aspects of your current Kafka deployment, as well as create and manage new topics. You can also use the Streams Messaging Manager to help validate your data before moving to the subscription stage of your workflow. Working alongside the Stream Messaging Manager, CDP also provides you with a UI for creating and managing the schemas for data being received by the Data Hub running Kafka. The Schema Registry UI gives users an easy way to create and manage schemas, which can then be leveraged back in the Stream Messaging Manager. One other feature of CDP that we'll be going over has to do with security and permissions. Thanks to Ranger being integrated into CDP, we can use it to control the permissions for a given user or users to access various topics within our Kafka Data Hub. Now that we have an idea of the underlying infrastructure, we're going to walk through a use case to tie it all together. We'll pretend that we're managing a series of toll roads with a constant stream of cars going through many different tolls. Our goal will be to gather information from these transactions into a centralized data stream within our Kafka Data Hub. The first step we'll be taking is to determine what format we'd like to use to create our mock toll booth data. To keep it simple, we'll set our data up to report a customer ID, an amount due, the time of the transaction, and the toll booth it went through. Here you can see we've created a JSON file with the corresponding parameters. Now we'll need to open the schema registry through our data hub in CDP. Here we'll add a new schema named tollbooth data that we'll paste our JSON into. This will let us reference the schema and the steps to follow. Moving on to the streams messaging manager, our goal here is to create a topic named tollbooth data into which we can feed a stream of data coming from various mock tollbooths. One of the first things you'll notice is there are a bunch of topics that already exist. These topics are internal to the Stream Messaging Manager, and for most users, they're better off not seen. To adjust what topics specific users can see, we're going to head into Ranger, which is integrated thanks to the Cloudera data platform. Within Ranger, we can configure our current user to not have any access to topics beginning in underscore SMM. Heading back into SMM, we can now see that there are no topics accessible to our current user. To create a new topic, go over to the right hand side and select Add New. Here we can enter our topic name, Tollbooths, and are presented with a few options. Partitions are the way that Kafka handles parallelism. Incoming messages are distributed across available partitions. Increasing the partitions will determine how many consumers can concurrently access your topic. Availability will determine how many copies of a topic you'll have on your Kafka cluster and how many of those copies need to be active to continue receiving messages. The cleanup policy tells Kafka what to do with the data once the retention limits are hit. For more granular topic setup, you can also expand the Advanced tab, which gives you many more options. Next, we'll need to create our streams of data. To do this, we've set up an example flow in NiFi that emulates three toll stations with the same parameters we provided the schema registry earlier. If you're unfamiliar with NiFi, we go more in depth in a previous video within the Data Hub collection, so go check it out. To push these statuses over to Kafka, we're making use of a Kafka publisher. We've given it the Kafka brokers we'd like to send our data to, the schema we created earlier, and the topic into which to send it. Behind the scenes here, we're also leveraging the integrated Kerberos authentication available to us within CDP. On the receiving end, We've set up a consumer that will pick up this tollbooth data and bring it back into NiFi so we can do some follow-on later. In this case, we'll just be storing our data into an HBase table. Now that everything's ready to go, we can start these processes. You can see the data begin to flow from our data generators successfully into the topics in Kafka. Now before we begin pulling the data back into NiFi, let's go take a closer look at our data within the Stream Messaging Manager. Looking in the Streams Messaging Manager, we can go to the topic that we just created and check to see that the data being received matches the format that we expect. 
we can open the topic up and see that our data looks good. With our data validated, we can head back into NiFi and enable our consumer. In this case, we're just writing to an HBase table stored on another data hub. In a real world setting, you could then begin monitoring the stream on the lookout for things like new customers, unpaid tolls, or even issues with the toll booths themselves. If we take one final look into the stream's messaging manager, we can see the entire flow of data coming from the producers on the left, through the Kafka brokers in the middle, and finishing up in the consumer group that is NiFi pulling data out and dropping it in an HBase. We can even take a quick peek into our HBase table and see that our data is making it all the way through successfully. Thanks a lot for watching today. Please let us know in the comments if there are any topics that you'd like us to cover, and subscribe to be notified whenever any new videos are released. If you have any questions, you can always head to the Cloudera community, where there is a large knowledge base to help you overcome any challenges along the way. There will be a link provided below.